Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to CourseCreatorHandbook.com. I am your host Amit Arora, and let's get started. Today we are going to do a WordPress install. Yeah. So, um, I started designing websites on Wix.com, and yeah, that was rough. I mean, the websites were pretty easy to design; they were drag and drop, but the functionality just wasn't there. And that's what drove me to start using WordPress. And it was a very steep learning curve uh, to get to learn WordPress on my own. I didn't want to, uh, I did some research on YouTube, but I didn't want to pay for a course or pay someone to do my website installation because I knew that I was going to be doing a lot of edits. And if you pay someone once, uh, you'll kind of keep going back to them to do more edits and more edits and it's just a rabbit hole that I didn't want to go down. Plus, it's a good skill to have. So I want to show you today how you can easily install WordPress. I have a notepad out here. So there are a few things I want to accomplish today. First, we're going to get a domain name. I already have domain names, but I can show you how I go about with the process of buying one. I won't be buying one today, uh, but I will show you how you could do that. Uh, same thing with the website hosting. I already have my hosting all set. So if you want to get a hosting package, I am going to show you a trick where you can get it for as low as $3.60 a month. And that's cheap. So even I don't have that deal, but I can show you how to do that. So you can head on over to coursecreatorhandbook.com forward slash hostgator. And that's how you can get your hosting. And then we are also going to set up WordPress themes and plugins and the plugin and theme that I use is called Thrive. So same thing you can head on over to Thrive themes. So we're going to do these three things and in addition to that I also want to set up a landing page plus a thank you page. So I'm going to try to get this all done. Uh, we are going to do a fresh clean WordPress install, install all the Thrive plugins, activate the plugins, set up the landing page and the thank you page. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your um, email service provider to link all of that together. So I don't want to put too much on your plate on this one video. So we'll break it down into small chunks. I always hear this saying and it sounds kind of horrible, but how do you eat an elephant one chunk at a time? So we're going to break this down into smaller chunks and get a lot accomplished. So let's get started. So first thing to get a, a domain, let me go in incognito. Uh, I'll show you the domain and hosting is kind of going to go hand in hand. So if you just head on over to coursecreator.com forward slash, uh, sorry, coursecreatorhandbook.com forward slash hostgator, you'll see this one right here. And you can uh, right off the bat here where it says this big yellow button get started now click there and you can sign up for the baby plan that's the one I'm using if you use a hatchling plan that's only you can only have one domain I have so many domains I lost track uh, so you could use the baby plan I think I'm at 15 domains I have a domain name addiction uh, so here you can either register a new domain or you can bring your own domain I already have one so we're going to skip the step uh, now I'm going to show you a trick that you can use to knock this down by pretty much in half uh, but first let's see what it looks like so it's 36 months commitment and that's 595 a month and then towards the bottom there's some additional services that they've pre added for you so site lock monitoring we don't need that uh, back up your hard work uh, there are other free plugins in WordPress you can use for that and then that brings it down to about 214.20. Now, this already has a coupon code applied. What I'm going to do now is pretend that I'm going to exit the website and that should give me a pop-up to save 63%. Uh, so let's try that. Here we go. 63% off three years for the price of two. So if you click this, now that coupon code that was applied will be changed. And you'll see a new coupon code. Uh, let's uncheck these. So here's that new coupon code. And you can see uh, that has 
not dropped down. Why hasn't it dropped down? So it's 36 months at $3.63 a month. And that's pretty low. So there's these hosting add-ons that we don't need. So you can get rid of the hosting add-ons. I, I don't see where these add-ons are coming from, but you should be able to get rid of them. Uh, let's see. Okay, there it is. So it was because this register a new domain was clicked. If you click on I already own this domain, it goes down to about $130 for three years. That's a great deal. So once you guys are done with all of that, uh, you can put in your credit card details and you will be given a name server. So what is host? Hosting is like, it's where your website lives. So hosting is when someone goes to www.coursecreatorhandbook.com, they see a web page that is being hosted somewhere in the cloud. I don't know which cloud it's in, but it's in some cloud. So in this case, it's on HostGator servers. Uh, a lot of people use Amazon S3, Simple Storage Service. There are a bunch of different plans out there. You might already have one. And uh, if not, you know, I, I use HostGator. I have never had any issues with them. Do your research and see what works best for you. And uh, so once you are, uh, so that's what a hosting plan is. And then you have to buy a domain so your domain lives on this hosting platform and that's what your visitors see when they go log in, log on to your domain name. Uh, so we'll pretend that you bought this and then once you buy it, you'll be taken to your C panel, your control panel. So let's head on there. Uh, let me show you. So there are two places HostGator uh, lets you log in. One is your control panel and one is your billing portal. So let me go in the billing portal first. This is where you'll manage your domains. And as you can see, I have a bunch of domains here. The one that we're going to be installing the WordPress plugin on today is we're going to do it on the coursecreatormanual.com. That's the one we're going to use. So now I'm going to head on over to my C panel. And uh, you, again, once you cr uh, create a HostGator account, you'll be able to log into the cPanel just like I am, save it all in your favorites. You'd never have to remember the URL. Once you're logged in, there's a bunch of mumbo jumbo here that I never really get into. The first thing I do is I do a click on add on domains because we're adding a new domain to my cPanel, which is my, this is essentially my server or my piece of the server that HostGator has given to me where I can do whatever I want. Uh, so the domain name again is, where did it go? CourseCreatorManual.com CourseCreatorManual.com And then once I tab over, you don't need to put www or http, just put in the uh, root domain and then uh, It'll automatically fill these two parts here. Create an FTP account associated with this add-on domain. Let's do that. Actually, I'm going to skip that. And then you just click on add domain. And then it'll do its thing, work its magic, and it should give us the newly uh, listed domain. And you'll see in a second here what happens. Perfect. So course creator manual has been added to your account. So the next thing we do is we want to create the WordPress. So create a WordPress site, but instead of clicking here, I just like to go back to control panel. It's just me being picky. Uh, you could have done it from there. And then I just click on this WordPress one click installation. And from here, so now we have installed the domain onto our root directory, which means it has created a bunch of files and this is how now it becomes a public facing website. And now we're going to install WordPress. So we're going to select which domain. So it was course creator manual. And I leave this directory part blank. I click next. Block title. You can change all of this can be changed later. So course creators manual. Admin username. First name, last name, admin email. 
automatically create a new database for this installation yes we want to do that terms of agree to terms of service agreement sure and then you just click install now this should uh, this is currently as you can see installing WordPress onto your website and then you'll be given the username and password to log in so let's go back to our uh, actually I'll wait so here's the username and password I'm going to copy this paste it in here just so I have it and don't worry I will change it so don't try any hanky-panky and then the next thing we want to do is install the Thrive Themes plugins but first let's see if it will let us so as you see this installation is in progress if I click on login it might not let me log in yet yeah see it gives you this funky URL because the installation is not complete so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that window I'm going to open a new window what am I doing all right let's open a new window try going to that domain again all right so it's not working right now that's not a problem let's head on over to the other one which is coursecreatorhandbook.com forward slash thrive themes and that will bring you actually let me open that in incognito to show you what that looks like let's delete this part so let's go to their home page when if you I love Thrive Themes. I love all of their products and it might not be for you. You might use a different WordPress theme. Completely cool, completely up to you. I am just a big believer. Uh, you could save up to $3,000 plus if you compare this with ClickFunnels. And Thrive Themes lets you do pretty much everything that ClickFunnels let you, lets you do at a very economical price. So I love it. Uh, they have all their products broken down into different sections if you want to purchase one thing at a time I just like the whole package and the reason being if you just click on get all products I mean if you compare their price uh, let's see where is the price so it's $19 a month paid annually that lets gives you access to all of their the entire suite of products and that to me is a winner so you can put in all your details and then once you're done you'll be uh, taken to your member login area and so it's $228 a, a year that's a winner so once you get that this is what your account would look like and then here I want to go to members home and download all of their plugins so let's do that let me try to refresh this course creator manual see if I'm able to log in yet all right so that seems to be working let's log into our WordPress dashboard and here's the password don't worry I will change it so now we are in this is what your WordPress dashboard looks like uh, no I don't want to save the password right now because I'm going to change it so first thing you want to do is let's hold off let's go to thrive download everything then we'll come back here so this is what your thrive members dashboard is going to look like and these are all the products they have so quiz builder yep want it ovation want it uh, quiz builder is uh, the latest product and it lets you build uh, quizzes and people seem to be I haven't personally played with it yet but a lot of people I have talked with they are getting 49 39 cent leads from Facebook because they are running a, a quiz and sending people from that quiz ad to their landing page letting people go through the quiz which is a bunch of different micro commitments and then at the end to download the quiz results there is an opt-in form I do want to play with it I just haven't figured out what kind of quiz I want to put out there uh, so much to do right I want to make these videos for you guys so you can kind of learn with me uh, Thrive Ovation is how you can collect testimonials uh, so you can have a testimonial page and have uh, anyone who has gone through your online course go there fill out the testimonial it will come into your Thrive dashboard and then you can display it publicly Thrive Ultimatum is like a countdown timer thing it's awesome we want that 
headline optimizer i've never used it but why not it's available let's download it same thing with clever widgets i haven't really used it but i'm going to download it thrive leads is the different lead boxes that pop up uh, exit intent scroll page pop up you name it they have it and then finally the thrive content builder and landing pages absolutely with thrive they also give you access to about i'm going to say 50 to 60 preset landing pages that they've already made for you and if you have used lead pages before it's a similar concept so you can play around with that i just like to start fresh i use a blank landing page and then i kind of add on but if you're new to this those landing pages definitely come in handy to they give you kind of like a template to work off of and then they also have a bunch of themes here the one that I like is the squared theme. Uh, I think it's the squared one. So a few of their themes have the apprentice feature that we're going to cover in, in the coming few weeks and months. And what that lets you do is it lets you display your school within Thrive Themes and you can have that hierarchy of modules and chapters and then you can gate that content using another WordPress plugin. So that's awesome. So I'm going to download, and if you want to take a look at one of their themes demo, you just click on the view demo. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, I think, yeah, it's the squared one that I want. On the theme itself, it doesn't tell you about the apprentice feature till you actually download it. But I do know that Squared offers that, so I'm going to download that. So now we have a bunch of plugins. Uh, what we want to do is go back to our WordPress dashboard. And the first thing I do here when I come into WordPress is I go to plugins. There's a bunch of junk bloatware that comes pre-installed with WordPress. And I want to go ahead and delete all of that. So I just select all of these. And then if you do want any of these back, you can always reinstall them. I do leave this, uh, this one right here, Aximeth, I don't even know how to say it, anti-spam. I do leave that one on there. Everything else, I just select all and I go to bulk options, deactivate all the plugins first before you uninstall it. If it's not deactivated, you cannot un uninstall it. Then I do the same thing, highlight them again. And then bulk actions delete yep don't worry you're not going to break anything this is i've done this more than once trust me so now all your plugins are gone perfect that's what we want now we can start installing all the thrive products and that's really what you're going to need you will need a one or two seo plugins that we will cover again in the coming months weeks uh, but for now, we're just going to concentrate on Thrive. I want to get that landing page up and running and also the thank you page. So let's click on add new. And we're going to click on upload plugin. Then we're going to choose file. And now we're going to go to downloads. So here are all my Thrive downloads. Let's see, where did they all go? Okay, here they are. So I'm gonna start with the visual editor and then make my way down. So you select one. Once you've selected it, click install now and you'll see in the bottom right, bottom left corner, sorry. You'll see it's showing this little uh, percentage bar. So we gotta be patient. Um, remember, this is going to let you create websites and it's literally taking me what, so far we have been together for about 25 minutes we've already bought a domain name hopefully you have done it a hosting package with a great deal three dollars and 63 cents a month and now we are installing plugins so i'm not going to activate this right now because i want to install the rest so i'm going to show you one more and then i'll kind of fast forward everything and do the rest so i'm not wasting your time so let's install one more plugin so i'm going to click on return to plugin installer Upload plugin, choose file. I don't know why they are all the way to the bottom here. So, Thrive Ultimatum is the next one in line. Same thing. Click the install now button. Look at the bottom left corner. It's doing its thing. It's at 56, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, and 100%. So, 
I will install the rest and you'll kind of see me do it and uh, fast forward and then we'll pick up where we left off. All right guys, we are back. I have installed all the plugins. I haven't activated them yet. Uh, so I want to show you how to do that. Uh, if I go to installed plugins here, here are all the plugins that I've installed. I'll select them all. Do the bulk, bulk actions, hit activate and apply. So you have the visual editor, the ultimatum, quiz builder, leads, headline optimizer and clever widgets. Those are the plugins I've installed. I think I covered them all. Let's see, content builder. Do we have the content builder? Yep, that's the visual editor. And leads, clever widgets, headline, ultimatum, quiz builder. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if we have seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which one am I missing? Clever widgets, headline optimizer, thrive leads ultimatum ovation I think ovation is missing yep ovation is missing that's fine we're gonna skip it I'm not sending out any testimonials right now but if you have it go ahead and install it play with it so now all of these are activated and you'll see there's a new menu item here called thrive dashboard now before uh, yeah let's head on over there and here it's going to ask you for your uh, license key so thrive can make sure that you are the rightful owner of their product so any any one of these blue boxes you just click on activate license and it's going to ask you for your email address and your license key so i have my email address here my license key is going to be in my members home area my account on the right side here my account and license keys so here's my license key copy that paste that here and validate and boom we are done so now the next thing i'm going to do is the theme that i installed the square theme again wordpress gives you a bunch of uh, bloatware and one of them is they give you some free themes to play with so if you just go to uh, let's see appearance and themes you will see all the themes that uh, so there are these three themes that uh, wordpress comes with and I'm going to click on install and add new theme and the one we downloaded was squared so I'm going to click on upload theme choose file and then same thing here let me just ask you search and downloads squared open that install it now since you've already activated the license there's no extra step uh, for you to take uh, to activate this theme so once you install it again if you look at the bottom left corner it's doing its thing working its magic and done so now we can click on activate and now this theme has been activated there's a bunch of settings that you need to do in the theme and we'll go over that in the next video you can click on customize and go over it if you want to just jump ahead and you're like me and you just want to kind of mess with things before you can fix it go for it uh, so now what we want to do is we want to create a landing page and a thank you page so we are good so far let's move on to landing page and thank you page so what am I doing on this what I'm going to do on this landing page is I'm going to offer 15 uh, interview questions to ask front desk agents my wife and I we are in the hospitality niche and uh, within that niche of uh, front desk agents uh, so when you go to a hotel somebody checks you in that's a front desk agent that job uh, has a high ch turnover real high churn so we are going to educate uh, people by giving them these 15 must ask interview questions to hire rock stars so what i'm going to do is first thing i'm going to do 
you click on pages you have a sample page we're going to get rid of it move to trash apply and now we're going to add a new page and we will give this so before we add this page I want to show you how this uh, how WordPress does the naming convention for their websites uh, so if I just type here 15 front desk questions and hit publish don't worry no one's going to come to your page remember this isn't one of those if you build it they will come we all know we have to drive traffic to our pages so just by you hitting publish is not going to do anything so go ahead and hit it and what I want to point out here is if you look right here a URL is going to be generated and this is how you want it to look you want your domain name and then forward slash and then your uh, website subdomain or whatever you call this slug I think it's called so that's what it should look like and if yours doesn't look like that you can change it you can go to appearance I believe it's appearance or is it settings it's settings so if you go to settings and go to permalinks here you can change the structure of how this link works right now I have it as post name you can have a custom structure you can have numeric month and name day and name and plain I would shy away from these two because this usually what it does is it tell, tells Google how old your website is so if you're posting something from 2014 and your URL reads coursecreatormanual.com forward slash 2014 forward slash 6 forward slash 15 questions Google knows it's a really old website and you don't want that you want it to be constantly updated right so that's why I like the post name uh, structure you can again do what works best for you so let's head on over back to pages now we have a brand new page created called front desk 15 front desk questions with thrive the cool thing that you get is you get this cool clone button so I can literally keep cloning this page uh, I will show you when I create my thank you page how you can how this clone feature comes in handy so first what we want to do is we want to click on edit with thrive content builder now the content builder has a bunch of things on the right side here and we are not going to go through each and every one of them and as you can see it's loading my theme which is the squared theme but I'm not going to use a theme for this particular page the theme I'm going to use more for my home page for this separate landing page I don't want a theme I don't want a menu because I don't want to distract my visitors I want to give them only one clear call to action so we're going to choose a landing page here so if you just click on thrive landing pages you can click on choose landing page and this will take you to their template library where they literally have I think like close to a hundred these are all different landing pages that are all conversion focused and they're constantly adding and that's why I love thrive theme so if you guys have a product that's a one-time buy like $67 lifetime I would really think twice because if you are not paying your service provider a monthly fees a monthly recurring revenue how are they going to keep updating that piece of software and how are they going to provide support and I love their support I love everything that thrive does they don't have there are few features that they don't have but I'm okay with that because it's only 20 bucks a month so they have a bunch of landing pages already pre-designed for you here and then they also have a template cloud that has even more landing pages and then you can even uh, when we go back to the default landing pages you can kind of search here on the left and see which one you're looking for so I am going to let's see what we're going to do I'm going to select a download and two-step uh, and why I do two-step is I've noticed that with two-step you're getting that again the micro commitment for someone to you know let you know okay they are definitely committed to taking that next step versus what I like to call the tire clickers so let's uh, see one you can click anyone I'm just trying to see what looks best this looks like a good one elementary download page and then load landing page now you'll see this changes the look and feel of the page and instantly gives you your brand spanking new 
page and this here we have a landing page so this one actually looks like a thank you page let me go back uh, choose landing page I don't want a thank you page I want a two-step page so let's see let's do the simple two-step landing uh, two-step page so let the landing page load it takes a few minutes and boom you have it so now everything in here you can change and we are going to do that so the first thing I'm going to start with is the landing page background here they've given me a design I don't like it so I'm going to click on landing page uh, this little drop down here click on landing page settings uh, right now it looks like it's a background pattern or a background image I'm just going to say clear background image clear pattern and clear color boom we are down to white and let's make that a little gray okay and if you want with these colors it takes the hex code so if you just put in any hex code and if it's a valid one it should work and just put in the code hit OK and you can also set this as a favorite color so you're uh, you you're kind of being that brand consistency throughout your pages so you can hit OK uh, let's say I change this to a D didn't do anything much so let's go here and as I kind of go over this color palette you will see on the right here this hex code keeps changing a great website that I find good colors from is I believe it's called flat UI colors so it's a uh, yep flat UI colors color palette for flat things everything so these days all these web pages uh, they are kind of trying to achieve that flat feeling instead of having a heavy graphic feeling and that's the one I like too I kind of like the gray here so I'm going to copy that I don't want more colors let's go back here paste the hex code and done so now I want to change the text here and I want to change the image so what we're going to call this is 15 front desk questions actually let me change this since we are all talking uh, I'm on the subject here to teach you how to create an online course and different tools you can use let me put that as a title 21 must have tools when creating your online course so that's your title and then these things are important because that's how SEO works is when Google is crawling your website it's going to look for uh, how have you laid out the content is it all paragraph is it title subtitle or uh, what they call this is heading one through six and then you have block code performatted address and paragraph so I mostly use a bunch of the headings and paragraph combination I never use any of these three so right now we are on heading one and let me see if I can go to landing page settings again and landing page fonts and what I want to do here is I want to go to font colors and h1 color I want black h2 color I want black same thing with h3 and paragraph so I want to set those default right now and if you don't do that then you'd have to just go back and change it each and every time this way you do it once and now it's all set for your landing page so let me go back to landing page settings landing page fonts and make sure yep we're good here so 21 must have tools when creating your online course download download these must have tools for designed to maximize your 
force creation output. I know. I don't know if it makes sense. I'm just rolling with the punches here. So download these must have tools designed to maximize your course creation output. Each tool will help you deliver that perfect course that your students deserve. So that's done. Now there's the download the free report. Now this can be changed and this can be changed. So first let's change the image. If I just click on change image here, this is the media library. This is where you can upload your files. So there are a few ways you can do this. You can either upload the files right here or you can go to media library and upload all your files here and then they'll show up here once you, once you have a library of your media. So let's go to upload files. I'm going to select a file. Let's pick a random file here. Uh, let's see what this is and open and you can drag and drop files there too so that looks good I'm going to select this now with this image you can kind of change this so you can change the size right here and then you can also apply style to it so there are different styles you can have a lifted image uh, which gives it kind of like the 3d effect and circular and then you can again play around with it there are a bunch of different styles i'm going to go back to no style and then if i wanted i could just put this um text on top of the image and you simply drag and drop everything is very drag and drop uh, if i drag it it turns it into a three column layout if i drag it and look for the green line and drop it here again uh, if you wanted to put the text on top of the image, what you have to do is you have to go down here, select a page section, drag and drop that page section up here. Did it work? Okay, here we go. It's not working. What are you doing, page section? Okay, here we go. Uh, so you can do this as a page section. And then I click on this page section, select background image, select this image, and you can make it a static image or a full height image. Here we go. Now I can delete this, move this text in this page section here. If only it would let me. Let me try to add a paragraph in this page section. All right, this is odd. It usually lets me add stuff to the page section. Let me give it a shot one more time. All right, let's do this. Here we go. So now it's part of the page. And same thing here. I can drag and drop this here. Same thing in the button. So. As you keep adding stuff, that image will grow more. And then let's see if it, now I can change that to a full height image. That's what it would look like. Now, as you can see, the text isn't readable on top of this image. So a few things you can do. One, I want to center align this. I can read the top part, but not the bottom. And I also want to squeeze everything together. So to squeeze it all together, what I do is I add a content container which kind of contains everything and let's add this text to here same thing here look for the green line once you see it drop it same thing with the button and we can delete this little part right here so now this is your content container everything in it can all be edited at once so I'm going to click I clicked on the content container and I want to kind of make it a little narrow all right, I like that. And then I want to change this font. So I'm going to center line this one and I want to change it, make it bold and make it white maybe. Let's see this one. No, I'm gonna go with white. So that's a little better. It's still hard to read. So I could try to 
what I can do is within this content container there is a content box I can and I have been doing thrive themes for a year I have lived it I have breathed it and that's how I know all these so I don't expect you to know this on day one so don't beat yourself up if you don't understand any of this as you start playing around with it you will uh, get the hang of it and I love this cool feature here where Thrive reminds you it's been 10 minutes and you haven't saved your changes so if you ever see that I just hit the green save button now all your changes have been saved so I'm going to add this little uh, box here and what that does is it gives uh, gives you a box with color inside it so people can read your text a little better okay let's get rid of this okay much better now what I want to do is make this a little transparent and let's see if we can do that. If I click on color, background color, what I want to do is I want to change the opacity, right? I want to make it a little transparent here and I also want to change the color to not the maybe a little dark here. Let's go black and make it a little opaque perfect i don't want the border so i can just make it kind of match the color i have so how do we do that is we go to the background color i'm going to add this as a favorite go to border color select that and i don't want any shadow so that's it i like that if you don't like the border i think you can use one of the other content boxes and then download the free report uh, if you click this you can change the how the button looks the colors and everything so how you do that is you, there's six styles you can choose from I like this style number three it kind of goes with the flatness everything is flat and then let's change the color we want to make this color pop a little because that's the call to action we want our users or our visitors to take so I'm going to go with yellow all right let's do this so that's the background color mouse over color is let me go back to the background color add as at my favorite mouse over color background so background color background mouse over color background mouse over color number two box so this is what it looks like right now and what I am looking for is text color, background color, box shadow. Let's go with the black shadow. And then the text color, I want it to be white. Actually, let's go back to black. So th these are all the options you can choose from. Um, that looks okay it's not perfect and we're not aiming for perfection we're aiming to get this landing page up and running so we can run Facebook ads to it and then you can also change the what it says right here so instead of saying download the free report you click on link settings and you can say yes please give me my copy and then here you would uh, redirect people to the thank you page once they click it or uh, once they click it actually it will open up a lead box where it will ask them for a uh, name and email and then once they fill the name and email is when they go to the thank you page so I'm actually going to go ahead and connect my uh, MailChimp account in here just so you guys can see how easy that is so I don't use MailChimp. This MailChimp is only for this demo. I use Active Campaign. So this is all good. Yes, please give me my copy now. And let's see if I have anything else I need to do here. You can make this normal size, small size, big. Uh, let's do huge. Nope. Actually, we are good with normal and full width. And then I'm actually going to change the style back to one. And background color is yellow. Mouse over color is yellow. Background two, two, we good. 
text mouse over text shadow all right looks good so now what you want to do is you want to click on event manager and event is what is the event that's going to happen once a user clicks this button so i'm going to click on event manager it's already set to open up a light box so let's edit this light box and see what it's doing right now so the light box right now is looks like this it says download your freebie and this is these are the fields and then it has the sign up button so let's change this we're going to say download 21 tools to help you create your course and that's good i want to change the background i don't know if i can let's see yep background pattern i don't want it background color is fine all right we leave it as is i was hoping to show you how to change this but a, a highlight color so the highlight color i want it to be the yellow that we had we are aiming for congruency here we want to make sure things are matching or your users might get confused and that's when you get drop-offs all right so highlight color is good now i want to change the text color so highlight your text and change the color of your text to black and you can increase the font size to let's say 30 uh, for some reason when I increase the font size the text goes back to its original color I'll change it back to black and then here is where you connect your email service provider so you just click on the box click on connect with service let me go to my MailChimp account where are you chimpanzee okay here's the chimp I'm going to close these extra tabs so you click on connect with service click on create a new connection it's going to be an API connection, which is the application programming interface, which where two applications talk to each other. Uh, you don't have any API integration set up. Click here to set up a new API. Let's do that. And I'm going to log into my MailChimp in the meantime and get my API keys from there. So two factor authentication. I will be back once I authenticate my account. All right, I am back. Account has been authenticated we are in uh, let's go to my account page here and go to integrations nope that's not what I'm looking for settings every account has a different place where they put these API keys and because I've been using uh, active campaign I haven't really paid much attention to my MailChimp account so I'm trying to find where it is extras okay it's under extras API keys so here's your API key I'm going to create a new key and we are going to call this one Thrive themes demo and I take the API key go back here add a new connection select an app so we're going to type in MailChimp put the API key here Mandrel pre-approved email what's that I know I had used it in the past but now I completely forgot about it create a Mandrel API key let's see login through MailChimp I think Mandrill is their transactional API system where you can sell transactional emails back and forth. I think I'm not too sure. So let's look at API logs. What is Mandrill approved email address? Maybe it's under account. Account details, username and contact info might be it. 
okay here's my mandrel approved email and mandrel api key where are you api key let's take a look settings let's take this key try it here connect see if this works i'm not okay looks like we're good so mailchimp has been connected now we can collect emails so i'm going to create a new list in here called uh, i'll give it the same name as the website course creator manual let's see if we can create a new list call this course creator manual default from email address is amit hotel.com default from name we'll reuse a reminder from one of my previous uh, let's do this actually I'll just type something up thank you for signing thank you for signing up perfect save so now you have created a new list in your email service provider you have made that connection so let's go back in here let's click on connect to service again create a new connection api now it's going to show me mailchimp instead of asking me to create a new connection right here and here's my mailing list and i'm going to do a single opt-in since we've already done a two-step opt-in so a double opt-in would be that after these two steps, your user will get a final email asking for verification that, hey, you did you really ask to be on this list? And if they select yes, then they will be delivered the product. And I think that's way too many steps. Uh, hit save. Uh, so now we're good. So this is where you would collect name, email, and phone number if that's what you want to collect. I'm not even going to collect the name, just the email. I'm going to call this field your best primary email and if you think you're getting a lot of spam signups you can add the capture I'm not going to do that right now uh, redirect to account creation page this is uh, we will cover this in a later date I am still exploring this feature where once your users have signed up uh, they can be taken to an account creation page where you could have a login info for them and they have their own members area and you can add an error message if you want to and then also after your users have signed up where should they be taken so here we're going to redirect them to a URL uh, that new URL page hasn't been created yet but we know how the naming convention is so we can say course creatormanual.com forward slash thank you 15 questions dl i don't say just thank you because you could fire false pixels your facebook pixels or your google analytics if you just do the simple naming convention and say your url and then thank you because it could be found by a google bot or people would can just try to type in thank you to land on your thank you page without having to fill in a lead form so I will hit save here I'm going to copy this part so I can create my new uh, thank you page and I'm going to go to my notepad here paste it we're going to save this and see what that looks like so you can see now the button is on the bottom here but the sign up is on the top I want to align these two together so I'm going to go with horizontal alignment and let's see if we can change the button let's see edit components submit button we can say download now so this is again it's it's not the best looking but I just want to get something out there to show you what the possibilities are uh, and I know a lot of people including myself uh, we try to aim for perfection but if your content is really great people will download it no matter what so don't aim for perfection aim for getting it done because 
perfection is the enemy of done. So get it done, get it out there. You can always keep tweaking it, perfecting it. So this is the light box that will open up once they click on this button here. So we have save, now we'll just save changes to this one. We can close this out. Uh, the event has been added. We can close this out. So the event is, if I go here, I click this, the event manager is going to open this light box. And that light box will then prompt your visitors to enter the email. And then once they enter the email, they'll be taken to the thank you page. So this is what it looks like. Landing page, open light box, and then enter email, which is the lead. And then thank you page. This is where you usually deliver the product that you promised that you're going to deliver. So let's go ahead and once you hit save changes again, I know this isn't the best looking landing page by far. It's probably my worst work ever. But again, I'm just trying to get something out there to show you how easy it is to do this. Uh, we'll save changes. And now what I want to do is I want to click on edit page. And in WordPress, every time you want to publish your changes, you want to click on this update button. And you will see down here what time it was updated. So it says 3 or 7 a.m. because it's my time zone is all messed up. So I want to go and change that right now. Go to settings and general. And let's pick the correct time zone. We are in Eastern Standard Time. Uh, let's see where is Eastern Standard Time. Asia, Antarctica, okay, we're getting close. New York, perfect. I'm going to pick New York and save changes. So we have created the landing page and now we're going to create the thank you page. This is where I can go back to pages and come on. Now we had I had shown you the clone button. That's what we're going to use. I'm going to clone this page and that will be my thank you page. And why would I want to clone this is because of consistency of um, your color schemes and everything else. We're going to edit the URL. I'm going to go back to my URL from here, paste it here and hit OK and hit publish. And now we can make those changes and make this into our thank you page. So we can again click on edit with Thrive Content Builder. This is where you would allow your users to download that said promised guide or whatever it is. So I'm going to click X out of here. X out of here. I'm going to clean this up and make this into a blank white page. So I'm going to click on page section, background color. I want it to be white and now we can type in here i'm going to center line this i'm going to turn this into a heading and i'm going to say thank you for your thank you please click the button below to download so Let's change this to a heading and let's add a download button here and I'm going to center align this button, change the style to one, change the background color to yellow. Again, we want to stick with the consistency, mouse over also to yellow and then text color. I want it to be black text shadow color should also be black actually I'm going to change the text shadow color to yellow same thing here um, text mouse over color I want it to also remain black background mouse over color I'm going to darken it a bit doesn't look too dark let's lighten it a bit okay here we go and then I am going to change the link or the text on here to say download now. 
and now what we want to do is we want to do an event manager when somebody clicks this button so there's three things you can do you can either say when this comes into the uh, when someone mouses over it when someone clicks the button or when it comes into the viewport meaning when the page loads and someone sees that button so you definitely want to go with click select an action uh, so here you can select a thrives light box thrive lead box animation vistia popover or tooltip i'm actually going to cancel this out i have a better idea since this is let's get rid of this button and we'll just say please click here and let's make this a downloadable link so how can we do this i'm going to hop on over back here go to media so this is your WordPress dashboard and if you see here there's the media option you go to media we're going to add this said PDF it could be a PDF it could be a video file it could be a checklist like a, a image file so I'm going to add a new PDF here and I should have I, you can just add any PDF I usually store my stuff on Amazon S3 servers and re uh, give that link in there, but you can just use WordPress. I don't know why I started doing that uh, It's another expense another monthly expense So let me search here for okay. Here we go Affiliate process for teachable dot PDF Now once your PDF is done you have this URL here and what you want to do is you want to copy the URL and we're going to go back here where you have highlighted this text you can uh, put a URL link in here so I'm going to do this paste this link in here make the I usually like to make them open in a new window and make it a no follow link which means Google cannot follow it so it won't show up on Google search results and then hit the insert button here and that's it so once they click this link let's save changes and now we are ready to see this in action and I am going to go to edit page you can close the media library here and I'm going to hit update so now this should be showing in it's still not showing in my time zone which is odd I will fix that later so now we're good now we're ready to watch this funnel in action let's click on view page here and what I'm going to do is open this in incognito I'm going to paste the URL and that brings me to my not so good looking landing page but you get the idea now when I click this the pop-up will come up asking me for my email download 21 tools to help you create your course okay uh, a quick tip here when you're testing with your email but you want to provide a new email every time what you could do is just add a little plus sign so I'll put my gmail email in here and add a little plus sign next to it and do test one and this will still come to your gmail but it'll come with that uh, the test would be kind of like the label of your email so you can do test one test two test three keep going so once I hit the download button it should take me to that thank you page and then we should also receive this email in MailChimp so let's test that so here's my thank you page uh, please click here to download so I'm gonna click here it opens the PDF boom they're happy we are happy life is good uh, last thing I want to show you before we leave today is let's go back to MailChimp let's refresh this uh, course creator manual list and now I should have that one contact in here right here it shows how they subscribed uh, API generic contact rating when I click on here it should give me a few more details uh, when did that contact come in etc etc so that's it for this part guys we were able to let's see what we got accomplished today you were able to get a domain uh, web hosting WordPress you got the theme installed hopefully and you also have your landing page and your thank you page ready and your media library has whatever it is that you're promising on your thank you page 
So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know it was kind of a longer video. So if you stuck around with me till the end, hats off to you. Uh, I'm signing off now and we will continue these sessions on WordPress because this is just scratching the surface and there's a lot more to learn. But if we break it down into these smaller pieces, it's not going to be as intimidating. And hopefully by the end of this, you will not have to rely on a membership site. Uh, I still am using Teachable and Thinkific, but I am hoping to move off of them and having my own members area. So we're going to get to that. Hang in there and keep creating those courses and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.